Welcome to Buzz Around the Globe. Hundreds stormed airport in Russia in anti-Semitic riot over arrival of plane from Israel. People stormed into the main airport in Russia's Dagestan region and rushed onto the landing field, chanting anti-Semitic slogans and seeking passengers arriving on a flight from the Israeli city of Tel Aviv. Russian news agencies and social media reported. Russian news reports said the crowd on Sunday surrounded the airliner, which belongs to Russian carrier Red Wings. Authorities closed the airport in Makhachkala, the capital of the predominantly Muslim region, and police converged on the facility. Dagestan's Ministry of Health said more than 20 people were injured, with two in critical condition. It said the injured included police officers and civilians. 60 people were detained in the unrest. The Interior Ministry for the Federal District that includes Dagestan said Monday. It was not clear if charges had been filed against any of them. Video on social media show some in the crowd waving Palestinian flags and others trying to overturn a police car. Anti-Semitic slogans can be heard being shouted and some in the crowd examined the passports of arriving passengers, apparently in an attempt to identify those who were Israeli. In a statement Sunday night, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office said Israel expects the Russian law enforcement authorities to protect the safety of all Israeli citizens and Jews wherever they may be and to act resolutely against the rioters and against the wild incitement directed against Jews and Israelis. Netanyahu's office added that the Israeli ambassador to Russia was working with Russia to keep Israelis and Jews safe. While voicing support for Palestinians in Gaza, the regional Dagestani government appealed to citizens to remain calm and not take part in such protests. We urge residents of the Republic to treat the current situation in the world with understanding. Federal authorities and international organizations are making every effort to bring about a ceasefire against Gaza civilians. We urge residents of the Republic not to succumb to the provocations of destructive groups and not to create panic in society, the Dagestani government wrote on Telegram. The Supreme Mufti of Dagestan, Sheikh Ahmad Afandi, called on residents to stop the unrest at the airport. You are mistaken. This issue cannot be resolved in this way. We understand and perceive your indignation very painfully. We will solve this issue differently, not with rallies, but appropriately. Maximum patience and calm for you, he said in a video published to Telegram. Dagestan Governor Sergei Melikov promised consequences for anyone who took part in the violence. The actions of those who gathered at the Makachkala airport today are a gross violation of the law. What happened at our airport is outrageous and should receive an appropriate assessment from law enforcement agencies. And this will definitely be done, he wrote on Telegram. He called the protests a knife in the backs of those who gave their lives for the security of the motherland, referring to the 1999 war in Dagestan and troops currently fighting in Ukraine. Russia's civilian aviation agency, Rosaviatsia, later reported that the airfield had been cleared, but that the airport would remain closed to incoming aircraft until November 6th. Do tell us what you think about this video in comments section, and for more news updates, subscribe to India Today.